Hey, what's going on guys? It's White Chaos, so welcome back to another H1Z1 video. Today I'm going to be doing a small short video covering these new patch notes that are going to the test server today on the 16th of August. There isn't much, and I know there's probably a lot more work this new update needs that they'll hopefully be working on. I know uh, there's a lot of mixed reviews on this new form of the game. It seems as if, you know, they completely took a 180 and created an entirely new game within the new update so some of that in this patch notes are kind of getting back to how it was before they're adding some bullet drops some decreasing bullet speed so let's just go over it I know there's still a lot more work to be done and I'm sure you guys out there watching this video will probably still be complaining about that to the developers honestly from my personal experience playing this new update and I know this video isn't about that right now but maybe I'll make a video very soon talking about my thoughts on the new update is that it I, I just got mixed feelings on it some things I like a lot of things I don't like but again I'll probably end up making a video on that soon so let's get right into these patch notes so the weapon tuning changes for the AK-47 they slightly increased bullet drop which kind of needs to be greatly increased or at least close uh, to what it was before maybe not what it was before but maybe just a little better and the bullet drop, I, I think the bullet drop in the last update was just too much. It needed to be decreased slightly. You know, this is a step in the right direction. Also with the AK-47, they reduced projectile speed from 650 from 700. So they decreased at 50. I don't know how well that will fare up uh, between the two numbers. So I guess we'll see when the update goes live. Now with the AR-15, slightly increased bullet drop. So that's a step in the right direction. Reduced projectile speed to 875 from 1000 that is that seems tremendously big But like I said, we'll see from when the actual patch goes out increased cone of fire recovery rate allowing the first shot to recover faster Two tap feels more should be comparable to current live behavior than before I don't even know what that sentence says but it seems as if two tapping should be a little easier and you know feel as if it did before or currently right now in the live servers so that's pretty cool and also with this new AR-15 if you were to just you know spray your shots or maybe even take your time the second third bullet would often you know not go where you intended it to go because of the widespread on it so after shooting the first bullet the recovery onto the second bullet should be a lot quicker and you know you should be hitting your shots a lot better than what you feel like you should be hitting so that's very cool and now onto the hellfire 4.6 which honestly they need to do a lot more work on this weapon all they did right here in this patch is slightly increase bullet drop what i think they should do is decrease the rate of fire of the thing i think i just think it shoots way too fast for one you go through all your bullets extremely quickly two it just shreds enemies extremely up close so hopefully soon they can possibly you know change that down a little bit for the rate of fire now onto the magnum which is you know another thing that definitely definitely needs a nerf which I don't see it in these patch notes here. Headshots against players without a helmet equipped are now one-shot kills. So as it currently stands, the Magnum is a two-shot killer right now, anywhere in the body. If they have armor on, it is a three total shot kill anywhere to the body, and that is completely nonsense. If it were up to me, I would have it a three-shot kill anywhere to the body, and if they had a Lammy or possibly a makeshift on, it would be four total shots to kill an enemy. It takes four shots currently right now on the live servers to kill an enemy with the Magnum, and since it changes, it's just a godly weapon. So hopefully soon, with enough you know complaints from you guys, to the developers maybe they'll change it so that you know hopefully we can wish for that now I, I guess I'll just kind of breeze over these onto the vehicles raise the spawn caps for off-roader pickup trucks and police cars by 17% so they increase the spawn rate for those this is to make sure that the new POIs are properly populated with drivable vehicles balanced the spawn distribution for ATV so that they can be found more consistently across the map so that's a pretty helpful update right there voice chat improvements this one's really cool as well speaker indicators on the HUD now include player tier and identify group members muting and unmuting players can now be done by looking at a player and pressing control T. This can be rebound in settings of course under key bindings. Muted players are now shown in the voice speakers list but with a muted icon and do not contribute to voice ducking. So that's a nice little improvement they made right there on the mute unmute system so that's very cool. Now onto combat update bug fixes. Throwable weapons now all have consistent throwing ranges. Weapons are no longer missing their shooting animations for firing while crawling. Entering the menu while in third person. ADS will no longer lock aim point. Previously fixed 
opening the map causing this, whatever that sentence means. <laughs> Inventory capacity is now properly displayed when a player has no items equipped that increase capacity. Driver shadows are no longer rendered over the vehicle's shadow. Other players' tracers can now be seen if they weren't in sight, as long as the shot comes into view. Now finally onto the live bug fixes. More improvements and fixes for silent footsteps. Found three material types that weren't playing the correct shoe sound and also identified and fixed a bug that could cause footsteps to sound muffled from certain angles. The gas ring will no longer expand or change unexpectedly during the last gas phase. So that's all there is to the patch. There wasn't really much done to the update to greatly improve it and kind of gear towards what the community wants more than what Daybreak is providing, but hopefully with enough complaining from you guys, especially me very soon if I do end up making the video on my thoughts on the update, which I probably should be doing, they may possibly, you know, change a lot of this stuff and revert back to how H1Z1 feels currently on the live servers. So that's all I have for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it and want to see more Battle Royale content coming soon, don't forget to drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel for that very reason. Thank you guys so much for watching and one big thank you to all of you out there who have subscribed to the channel recently. We've gained over 300 subscribers in the past couple of days, which is completely insane. I live streamed the test server the other day when it went live for the first time with the new update and we had around 500, 400 to 500 viewers concurrently for the entirety of three hours, which is completely insane. Over 200 subscribers during that stream and you know, it's just one of my best streams ever and it was amazing to see you guys out there. So thank you guys so much for all the support recently. I'm finally getting out of here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video.